Hello y'all, in this video we are going to complete the quest slash event in Dragon Fable known as Gold Fever. This war event was originally released in 2008 as part of a Lucky Day update. Lucky Day is this game's equivalent of the real life holiday, St. Patrick's Day. Let's begin by clicking on this scroll in our UI, then pressing on the Lucky Day book, and then hitting chapter one. We're gonna have a description here, and it says, someone or something in Falcon Reach has stolen all the town's gold. Mayor Rafe is asking for your help to recover the town's most precious commodity. Without gold, the town cannot be rebuilt after wars. With that read, let's click on chapter one. And we meet Mayor Rafe. Mayor Rafe says, we have a slight situation, Lemonade. The town treasury has mysteriously disappeared. I need you to get that gold back. Let's click on talk. Something has caused the Sneebles to start stealing all the gold they come across. For context, Sneebles are sort of like these goblins, but I don't know. That's the best way to describe them, I think. The entire town treasury has been stolen by those little green men. I have plans for that gold. Real plans. I should have never put 3.14 billion gold in one box. Yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Go out there and get that gold back, citizen. Be careful. Otherwise, those little thieves will steal, you, steal your gold, too. And now go. With that talk out of the way, let's click on War to Battle. And this was a war event, so this is long since over since it took place in 2008. Anyway, we got a description to read. Attack of the Sneeblecons. The Sneebles have somehow caught Gold Fever and have stolen Falcon Reach's town treasury. Now the Sneebles are super powered and willing to do anything to keep the treasure. I won't turn my back on them, or they just might steal your gold too. Objective, defeat waves of creatures alongside your fellow adventurers to win the war and fight the leader of the fighting Sneebles. Let's click on to battle. We must defeat six enemies for this wave. We're up against a Sneeble Ninja, three Sneeble Cons, and two more basic Sneebles. And our quest objective says the Sneebles have stolen all the town's gold. It's up to you to take down these super-powered Sneebles. Let's start with the Ninja first. Just going to use a basic attack. I have a couple guests with me, so they should be pretty useful here. Let's have Ash use Salvo, I think it's what it's called. And that's going to do a ton of damage to this poor goblin kind creature. And have Arctic's attack. I want to see what the Sneeble Ninja does to fight. Did 130 damage to a guest. All right, then let's just do a double attack. I'm really depending on my guest here, but it works. And there goes the ninja. It just got one attack in, and it's dead. Next is a Sneeble Khan. Let's use multi. You know, it's not probably the best move, because I'm fighting one enemy. I just want to see how the Sneeble Khan fights, honestly, what its attack moves are. It used some lucky attack on me and did 84 damage. That's pretty good. Let's use a double. I'm not doing hardly any damage here, but it is what it is. Sword of Justice. Goodness gracious, that's overkill. And this Sneeblecon is gone. So we should have four enemies left now. Three enemies left. Let's go up against this gladiator. I think that's what it is. Yeah, Sneeble Gladiator. Just basic attack from me. Ash can do a basic attack. Let's just all use basic attacks. Have all, all the people we're playing as use basic attacks. Whole party. And the Sneeble hit Arx with some spears. Okay, let's use double. Just end this because I saw... I wanted to see what his attack was. And the gladiator is gone. We have two enemies left to beat. We have to defeat one more enemy for this wave, and it is a ordinary Sneeble with these two daggers here. Let's use throw. Not the best move, but hey, it is what it is. Let's use multi. Not the best move either, but oh well. Purify with Arctic. And that Sneeble is probably going to attack me with those daggers, or one member of our party. He kicked Ash. Okay then. Double attack. Let's have Ash use Justice, because it's a pretty good move. Look at that damage. Rx will just attack, because he can't use his other move. Purify, I think it's called. Sneeble does another kick to Ash. And let's use Triple. This should... I don't know, did some damage at least. Not using the best gear here, I realize that now. And the Sneeble is dead. This wave is over. And our... Quest completed. Screen says you taken down another way with those steamy Sneebles and recovered more of the town's treasury. Is this thing really over now? And we got a Catherog ring. Let's keep that. And we're going to next go back to Gold Fever. And we're going to do that boss battle. 
We're going to battle the boss monster, and this is Snoke. Snoke says, Snoke won gold, pretty shiny gold. Talk. Wow, you're one big Sneevel. You give Snoke gold now, or Snoke get angry. I definitely don't want to see you get angry. I don't think I like it. Why do you need so much gold, though? Gold make the powerful. Gold need eye hat. Give Snoke gold. Okay, I think we've established you want gold. Sorry, Snoke. That gold belongs to Falcon Reach. You can't have it. Gold, he says. Snoke wants gold. Okay, let's go to battle. Well, I still have terrible gear, and Snoke has 932 HP and 466 mana. Let's use... Actually, let's just attack. I want to see his... I want to see his moves. Show me your moves. Ash uses basic attack. Let's have Arx do the same thing. Show me your moves. Oh, goodness gracious. He's going to punch my party to death. Double attack. I want to see if he uses a different move after this go around. Which may be to my detriment because he's doing a lot of damage, honestly. Now he's just going to punch everybody down. Ugh, that's terrible. I stunned Snoke and he is nearly dead. Let me use a triple attack. Use that. I don't know. Let me. A couple more hits should do it. This should do it. Maybe. Oh, didn't do it. And Ash gets punched again. Just a little bit more damage, please. Alright, it's over. Snoke is defeated. With Snoke beaten, we can open the war shop, and in it is a few weapons. Fortune's Edge, Lucky's Strike, and Lucky's Walking Stick. We can preview those real quick. Lucky's Walking Stick, Lucky, Lucky Strike, and Fortune Edge. And these are all, I think, win element weapons. We're almost done with Gold Fever, but we aren't yet. Let's click on Finish Quest. And you've taken down another wave of those five. Okay, that's the wrong thing. Let's go to Chapter 1, Chapter 1. And click on to battle, and then click on the end. What is with these funny hats? Ever since the Sneebles started wearing them, all they want is more and more gold, and there is a hat laying on the ground. This is just weird. Time to bring it to an expert den. Let's click on the expert. That brings us to Cicero, and he says, That's how the Sox won, all the a won the AL pennant back in 04. The World Championship was really just icing after that. And Lemonade says, That's us. Well, me. Says, Oh, great. So I'm um, about this hat. Cicero, which hat? That one? That's going to explode, or the chicken one? Going to explode? What, you didn't want that? I thought you wanted that. No! Cicero says, oh, all right, then here, let me take care of it. And the hat gets disappeared in some void. Lemonade says, how? You? Where did you put it? Cicero says, shrug, I don't know, and this is continued in MechQuest, which is another game developed by the same people who made Dragon Fable. We're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to go back to Dragon, I mean, Falcon Reach. An error loading scene. Well, that's unfortunate, but whatever. Point is, Gold Fever's done. The video is going to stop here. If you enjoyed the game, check it out in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day. I'll see y'all later.